I guess not. That sucks. All right, whatever. Point being, I, I have well over over 60, 70 hours on Starfield at this point. Like, flat out. I have well over 50, 60 hours. Uh, so even if I did already react to this, I have, I, I have now played the game enough to the point where I feel like I can have a little bit clearer of an opinion on it. And I want I want to see There this. you are, customizing your character in a brand new space RPG, and all of a sudden, you're woke. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet there it is. What's up everybody? This is the adoring yep. man here, and Bethesda just released Starfield, what could be their biggest RPG <laughs> ever. Are you going to play Starfield? Fuck yeah, I'm going to play excited? The shit out of Starfield. This is a huge I have to admit, right off the bat, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm a big fan. I love Starfield. It's freaking awesome. It's great. It is everything I wanted out of a space game. It is. It. it I have been a huge fan of, of Fallout, Skyrim, all those games. This is everything I wanted out of a Bethesda-made space game. That being said, just like with Fallout 4, just like with Fallout 76, just like with... Uh, I was going to say Fallout New Vegas, but honestly, I really love Fallout New Vegas. But just like with Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, uh, the, 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 their engine needs an update. Their engine needs an update big time. Uh, I will post up images. When I see this in the VOD, I will post up images. I had another person's ship inside of my ship the other day in Starfield. It is glitchy, it is buggy, it is broken. And and uh, I'm sure he'll go into a lot of the other stuff, but I, I uh, all in all, all things considered, I'm a big fan of the game. I liked it. It's really cool. It definitely needs a lot of work, but it, I think it, I, I like it. I enjoyed it. Huge moment for them. Xboxing and I'm currently still enjoying nerds it. Nerds who apparently didn't have enough amazing games to play this year. That's okay. I didn't plan on touching grass until 2024. <laughs> Ugh, crass, what is that? I've been having a shitload of fun with the game, and the most shocking revelation of all is how polished Starfield is. I think I've encountered like a grand total of four bugs. <laughs> After Fallout 76, yeah, I expected much worse. But there are a lot of legitimate criticisms yeah. that people have been making about exploration, loading. Screens, oh, the map is garbage. NPCs. I don't even know what that is. I don't even see. Is that a map? I still haven't figured out. I thought I, I thought that was I. Until I just saw that right now, I assumed that was just a glitch in my game. Etc. And we'll be talking about. Or some like of those maybe it's just a broken map. Points, maybe didn't didn't finish the map. This is a hot takes video. Games with this much hype behind them draw in a lot of attention, and with so many eyes on Starfield, it's only natural we should receive a bounty of terrible hot takes. Attention viewers, we are arriving at the surface of Planet Hot Takeus. Be prepared for a rough landing. The cringe levels have not been fully scanned and they could be lethal. I'm ready, man. Ready to get it on. Let's go it! Because Starfield is exclusive to PC yeah, yeah. and Pass and Xbox, well, naturally the PlayStation fanboys have risen from their catacombs uh, with a throbbing hate boner. One so obvious they don't even care to tuck it into their waistband. Well, I am a Sony pony for be? life. If you're reviewing Starfield and give it a high score, I hope you lose your job. Okay. We are now at... Come on, bro. It's a strong seven pushing towards an eight out of ten. Relax. DEFCON 5. Oh, Security you be lockdown. Kidding me. DEFCON 5 Lifted. already? Paul Tassi wrote an article foreshadowing this. Like, if they could fix up the game, I'd push it to an eight. Starfield is about to generate the most annoying... But it's a Xbox very, very strong seven. ...in years. I don't know about you guys, but John280165... Fuck. I don't know about you guys, but I get all of my gaming information and opinions from <laughs> Just gave up on that one. He's one of the few Hi. intellectual that That's scholars not I can truly trust. The console uh, war is one of the obviously. cringiest and most degenerate activities you can participate in these days. A particularly upstanding citizen of the internet here uh, tweeted this. In it appears such an awesome freaking human being. She's pretty dope. to me playing Starfield. He said a lot of people should be fired for promoting Xbox games on a public platform like Why? Wait, wait, why? What, what is this? Extremely unprofessional and demonstrates a lack of loyalty and seriousness to PlayStation. Her employer? Get the fuck out of here! I can't imagine any other takes are gonna bring it. Does she work for PlayStation? It's the Dapcon 4. You cannot go. I don't know why I thought she was like just a, a, a creator, like just an entertainer, like an online. <laughs> I'm not saying she was specifically a YouTuber or anything like that, but I just assumed she was like a commentator, kind of like a, uh, kind of like a. 
What's that one dude who constantly keeps taking his freaking shirt off? He used to work for IGN. Something like that, you know? Like, where they're like, yeah, technically they work for that company, but they're, 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 they'll hop around from company to company. Like, there's no... Besides, what the frick? Just because you work for Sony, you have to hate all Xbox things? What the frick? What does this take? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to break this down to what's most bait. Wait. Ah, screw you. Screw you. If I freaking... If I work for Sony, I want to be able to play Halo. What's the matter with that? It was a lie. Jesus. It gets so worse. <laughs> Attention. The exploration was not a lie. I, I have genuinely enjoyed exploring. I've, I've spent hours on certain planets. It, it can definitely get incredibly repetitive, but the amount of loot that you get is actually well worth it. So even though it is very repetitive, the combat is is quite fine. It is, it is well. And especially, I don't typically go exploring on planets that have high gravity. I typically like to explore planets that have a low gravity point so I can sort of... Uh, Use my jetpack and fly around for the most part. Get around a lot faster. I develop amp so I can run around a lot faster. So it cuts a lot of that that that, that timing down. Uh, and yeah, I, I typically tend to just make a beeline for all of the uh, the uh, 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 icons that you would find on a, on, on, a, on a planet, like the objective, not the objectives, but I guess you would say the the activities you could do, the areas. Uh, but when I do stuff like that, I typically will. Just fast travel on the way back. I, I make sure I don't have too much stuff. We are so I can always fast travel back and not have to like be bored out there and stuck oh in the middle of the God. freaking This is one of the you know, many Twitter space. accounts whose entire existence revolves around Xbox bad, PlayStation good. So this is their grift. This is how they farm inter- uh, uh, Brother, brother, brother. Both Xbox and PlayStation are rubbing their fat wallets while you sit at home defending their honor. Let's just be real here for a second. There, not, neither neither one of these companies is your friend, and neither one of these companies cares about you. Just gonna, just gonna point that out for the, the for the end of the year. As a content creator, eventually you start to run out of material. <laughs> you have to grasp at straws. And this is why he's saying exploration is a lie, because he can't kill himself by flying into a gas giant. Now, for everyone who also dropped out of school in fourth grade, yeah. well, the community notes has got your back. Gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn are gas. You don't, you don't have to overexplain it here, uh, 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 facts, man. <laughs> Any normal human being would have stopped right there. That's all the explanation I needed. Gas giants such as are gas giants. Gas giants are gas. It's in the title. Do I really have to bring this? Gas giants or gas giants? They're made out of gas. They're made out of gas, and they are giant. <laughs> are not safe to traverse internally. Wind speeds are in the thousands of miles per hour. Temperatures beyond any material limits, and pressure so intense that hydrogen turns into a liquid conductor. Now we know. And knowing, and it's, knowing half it's half the battle. Like going gaming here was right into the next dimension. He was hit with community notes multiple times, but it takes a very special brain to continue digging your hole, especially when everybody is saying you're wrong. <laughs> These well, of course you can't back down now. Article about me saying we should be able to explore gas giants. They somehow think this isn't possible in a video game that allows you to travel at light speed. I mean, clearly, <laughs> they haven't played Mass Effect, but hey, I'll let them cook. They haven't played Mass Effect? Is he talking about freaking... Oh, these are gonna be some spoilers. Is he talking about, uh... Oh, uh, what the frick is Blue... Blue Chick, is he, is he talking about the uh, when Blue Chick was the broker and, like, her her space station on, on the gas giant? What was the freaking name? Hold on. Uh, Mass Effect. I remember that. Is that what he's talking about? No, 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 no. Not that one. Was it Stabo? It was Stabo. Was this one it? No, no. It's the one when, when, uh, Blue Chick became the, the broker. Let me see. Why can't I spill? Broker ship. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. 
the Shadow Broker base. It it pretty much like it it was a ship that could that could handle the the winds and speeds. But see, there is there is a in story canon. Hello, once again, Juice the kid. Uh, uh there's a there's a genuine in story in campaign like explana explanation for why this ship specifically was able to stay where it was at. It was able to handle the wind speeds, which were detrimental to you, and was like, I'm pretty sure it was like one of those things that you had to think about before being able to go visit. So you had to get special shielding for your ship or something like that. Uh, and then even then, the ship was collecting the lightning storms to use to sh give itself energy. The whole reason, the whole idea behind this ship is that it would be so impossible for any other ship to be there that you you wouldn't be able to track down the broker any other way. Is that what he's talking about? Because you were still not able to land on the freaking ship, the, the planet. That was, that, was, that was its own ship. When this guy takes an IQ test, it comes back negative. What are you? It's negative. An idiot sandwich. Uh, first off, you can't explore gas giants in Mass Effect, you gastropod. Yeah, and never have been able to. It was so bad. Someone wrote an article about it to make fun of you. Starfield hater becomes laughing stuck after basically <laughs> a blender. No shit, you can't walk on gas. Yeah. And you can't make a spaceship in the shape of a robot. But I guess we choose the on fiction now. You can, though. What you mean? You can make a space... Have you, have you seen Elon Musk? He can make a spaceship whatever shape he wants. Oh, hmm. You think we made the spaceship look like that because because there's some kind of aerodynamic part to it? We made it look pointy because that's how... Sh that's how they're supposed to be. They have to be pointy. It can't be round. It has to be pointy. <laughs> the pressure at the core of Jupiter could be 100 million times stronger than what is typically seen on Earth at sea level. It should be obvious that no spacecraft could survive this pressure. This isn't Goku training at 100 times Earth's gravity. This is 100 million times. But I guess we choose the unfiction now. Dude, aborted fetuses have a... I love how the guy is like trying to make this point by using Mass Effect, but doesn't actually bring up the point that he's trying to like bring Better up. Better understanding of fiction than you do. Every fictional piece of media needs to establish its own rules and follow them. Starfield yeah. is science fiction, and sci-fi has its own rules to follow. If you establish that a hyper and let me make it very clear, there are it does have its own science, lore, and in-world physics. So I'm not going to spoil anything in case you do want to play the game. But it, it there are uh, uh uh it does have its own physics system, its own unique stuff. Like so, I'm not gonna get too spoilery on that. But but the point being is that it sets up its own rules, and it typically tends to follow its own rules. Overdrive is the piece of hardware necessary to jump to light speed travel in Star Wars. It is Wars, the Star Wars. Then you can't let a fucking ship travel to light speed without a functioning hyperdrive. We need way more it's like, spaceship why battles. Why is the Avatar the only one who can bend all four elements? Why can't Zuko water bend? Cause he fucking can't. Because those are the rules. Yeah, that's you the rules of the universe. Because exploration that is was the, a lie. That, that is the rules of the universe that have been... That is... That's not a planet, it's a star, and you should be able to fly around its surface. That yeah, is they the don't sun. let you explore the surface of the sun either. Why not? Because you will oh, melt. Retard alert. Retard alert, class. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I mean, if this was like a space game where you were like... I don't know, a lava entity or a lava demon or something, you know? Maybe, maybe for Warhammer 40k, you know? Then maybe, let's talk then. What? You can't fly into the sun because every material on the periodic table, every, every substance in yeah. our known universe would become nothing but plasma. Every yeah. other game lets you fly in and around the... Which is the other hidden element that most people forget. Gas giants, but the biggest space game of all time from Xbox fans can't do it. Or state of being, I should say. It's gas, liquid, solid, and plasma. And then this guy shows clips of Star Citizen's gas giants. So, so this is what you want. You want to spend 20 minutes flying inside into of that the color red. Is this what you play video games for? That being said, if you wanted that, you could do the same thing. You just hover above a planet. It's 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 right there. <laughs> but by the way, what is this cockpit? I love it. So that looks so cool. I I need to purchase more of the ships. I'll be honest with y'all. I I pretty much stayed with the very first ship until I purchased the th the three hundred thousand dollar ship, the Conqueror, and I've been sticking with that. I freaking love it. 
So this is what you want? Uh, no, this is a uh, uh, Starfield. Spend twenty minutes flying into the color red. Is this what you play video games for? Star Citizen is a game that's it's been a star in field, my dude. for over a decade so, and with uh, over five hundred and sixty-three million dollars in crowdfunding, with no definitive release date in sight. I don't think it's a game you want to compare Starfield to. Then he also shared a clip of No Man's Sky's gas giants, but objection! Oh wait, No Man's yeah, Sky you're flying above them. gas giants. Take that! It took me oh. 48 minutes to run across the shared clip. Not only that, but I'll, even even in this clip, it's like not even in the gas. It's like just hovering above it in space. Of no Man's Sky's gas giants, but... Objection! Oh, wait. No Man's Sky doesn't have gas giants. Take that! It took me 48 minutes to run across this planet in st It took you 48 minutes to run across this planet? Wait, what? Six zones, about 12 minutes each? I had to fly to each one by one. Worlds are not round. They are loaded up platforms, each about 12 minutes of space. Wait, what? You could fly from planet to planet in Starfield? I've just fast traveled the whole time. Why would you fly? Listen, I get that you want the realism of flying in space, but I don't. I also don't want to wait 40 months to get to Pluto. I want to get there in like two seconds so I can play, enjoy Pluto in the game. What do you mean? Starfield. Why would you want? Why would you want to freaking fly to another Six planet? Zones. About twelve minutes each. So not only did you fail astronomy class, but also <laughs> math class. I feel like this is what blind allegiance and console fanboyism does to the mind. Like facts, logic, and reasoning become something of a conspiracy against you, and everything else is wrong, and everyone else is stupid but you. Apparently, people are also upset that you can't run around the circumference of entire planets without hitting, like, an invisible wall. And I have no idea why you would want to spend your time running around a planet doing nothing. Do you think it's fun? I'll be completely honest with you, and maybe it has to do with the fact that I would go to one area, do whatever is available there, loot the place, defeat the the pirates or whatever it is, and then I would look for the next big objective and go to that one and then do something there. So I guess I didn't walk in a straight line, but I spent hours and hours and hours on one single planet, dude. Just, just going from area to area, looting, taking down bad guys, pirates, all kinds of ne'er-do-wells. Oh, it was freaking awesome. In Minecraft to spend 820 hours running to the edge of the world? Well, it would take 10 times longer to do that on planet Earth. I get people testing this for curiosity, but to complain about it? Like, you're upset the game doesn't allow you to waste more of your time. Yeah. Also, you, like, do people understand that in order to render the entire planet, it would take a beefy machine, like... I don't know how much of it is procedurally generated, but I have to imagine <laughs> it's a lot of planets to have to generate. We'll get there someday, but like, let's chill, yeah? You're off the edge. This is, this is, this is creating, I, I am fine with them creating the illusion of an entire galaxy because it works. It, it works well within the illusion. I understand that it is an illusion, you know, but I kind of understand that the illusion is a video game to begin with. So what's the freaking point of you trying to make it too real? To the map. I would get rightfully roasted for pointing out the ridiculousness of swimming so effortlessly with a 280 pound spacesuit on you because it's a video game, so who cares? Gravity is lower. was so technical about landing physics not so long ago. Landing physics? Landing physics? You think you can't fly into the sun because of landing physics? Attention. <laughs> we are now at DEFCON 3. I'm getting a little worried now. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Look, man, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna. You, you, you can't fix stupid. They're not gonna, they're not gonna like suddenly gain common sense. If you believe such things, there's a beast that does the bidding of the liberals. A fearsome creature what? with current day tentacles that'll suction your face clean off. And drag all your favorite media down to the crushing darkness. I love the Luigi's Mansion theme is playing the in the background. Pronoun! They say the wokeness of its breath is... <sighs> Imagine. Oh, no. Thing you know on God's green earth. I gotta admit, I, I actually recently just finished doing the Sarah uh, 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 commitment mission and, like, got married with Sarah. 
Uh, wow, they, it is very politically correct. So you could tell all the dialogue is incredibly, incredibly politically correct. But it didn't really bother too much. It is very, it is very noticeable, though, admittedly. Also, none of the clothing is sexy, like, in any way. Ev even the beach, the bikini outfits are, like, super tamed and, like, cover up everything. It's, like, super tamed and PC and safe. Like, they really, really went with safe. Really, really safe with this one. But then again, that's that's where the modding community comes in. They don't really... That, that, who cares? They, they, I, I never expected them to actually make the game as good. Like, most of the time, the game is never going to be good until the modding community gets their hands on it. Earth is the roar that's just Bethesda of the games. pronoun and the reeking odor of a thousand woke agendas. If you believe such things. But luckily, we don't. And the pro So it's like, I guess you can mod... Uh, I guess you can mod... Uh, some of that stuff away, like the dialogue to make it less clunky, but it didn't bother me too much. Not to see, like I'm trying to think, it was definitely odd, you know. But just because I don't uh, on my day to day, I don't talk like that. I don't say, I don't say partner, whatever. I'm talking about somebody as like a marriage or whatever. But it, you know, it didn't really bother me. Or the pronoun is just an ancient myth. So this guy's like, why can you swim in water while wearing a spacesuit? That's not realistic. Dude in Oblivion, you can swim 100 meters underwater in full iron plate mail while True. swinging a sword without drowning. And guess what? Literally nobody on this planet. Look, I'm trying to think. The only other place I, the pronouns played uh, an effect is I guess I do, I do love to customize my characters often. I'll change them up left, right, center, like whatever. Sometimes I'll get bored and suddenly decide, oh, I'm a pirate now. I, I want a scar on my eyeball and I want to be an old gristled veteran, old man, yeah. And sometimes I don't want to do that. And sometimes I want to be a spy, a super badass spy. Or sometimes I want to be Laura Croft, like a Tomb Raider, taking out bounty hunting or something, something cool. But, you know, it, I, I change my characters often. I'll, I'll see it there, but I'll, if I can be completely honest with you, it, whatever option you choose on the pronouns option, it literally, the dialogue is so safe that it, they never, ever refer to you with pronouns anyways, so. Gives a fuck. Stop! Literally doesn't matter. to stop you from swimming? You want to jump into the water with a space suit on and just drown? Or be forced to go in your inventory to take it off, get out of the water, then re-equip it? If what it was somehow needlessly making feature. it inconvenient for me, <laughs> that'd be a different story. Fanboys are advocating for less quality of life and more ways to kill themselves. Starfield was 20 plus years in the making, so you get about an hour per year. Hash Dude, that is, first of all, First of advocating all, advocating for less quality of life and more ways to kill themselves. Stuff. If you stopped playing a Bethesda game after 21 hours, after the main story, you stopped after the main story. The it's a Bethesda game. The main story is the introduction. Well, you think I? You think you? You, 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 just, you just defeated Alduin in Skyrim and said, all right, there you go. G game is over. Congratulations, everyone. Go, go, go home. I hope you have yourself a lovely... That's when the game just begins. You just became the dragon freaking, like, dude. Now you're the dragon guy and you got all the powers and you defeated Alduin. The game just started. Now you got to go and explore every inch of Skyrim. You got to own every house. You gotta get to level 100 so you can fight fight the final boss, which is the guy in the ebony armor. Like, what do you mean? Who stops a, a Bethesda game after 21 hours? I'm 60 hours in. I haven't beaten the main campaign. I just met the Starborn. Field was 20 plus years in the making, so you get about an hour per year. Hashtag stay salty. No? No? Okay. We're good. Dude, homeboy just exposed himself as having never played an RPG what? before. F in the chat for this poor bastard who doesn't even know what a side quest is. Look, look at the way you fucking crop this. Look at how sneaky this is. Here's the real thing. Main What's story. Like hours to complete everything? Main inside. You see how they try to deceive their own audience into yeah. disliking a game? Because that's all they know how to do. This is so bad. I can't even believe this. Okay, no, no, no. Let, let's just get one thing straight. The melee is terrible. Never use melee weapons in that game. It is garbage. Absolute garbage. The only reason I have a freaking melee weapon is because I found a wakazashi, so it looks like a cool katana, and it's an anti-personnel wakazashi, so it's a katana that also does an extra additional 50% damage to humans. 
which is awesome. Uh, but but that being said, it, it can be a little bit wonky at times, and sometimes it just doesn't register the hits. So it, it is the weakest point of the combat, admittedly. But uh, but then again, uh, it, it's Bethesda. The, the engine never lent itself really well to to uh, even in Fallout like four and Fallout seventy six. I, I always felt like the melee was always a weak point for me. Uh, uh, which is odd, because in Skyrim it doesn't feel that bad. I don't know why it's... This got green-lighted yeah. in this awful state. My god, why? Okay, I'll admit. This Glitchy. is pretty bad. Absolutely. But, you know what it is bad. worse? Whoa! The original creator of the video changed the game with console commands. This person stole... Se oh! The Musk is actually doing something. Video wow. ...without crediting them and omitted the info. Whoa. You destroyed that guy without even touching him. <laughs> Attention. We are now at DEFCON 2. Oh god, no. Ladies and gentlemen, if the takes get too hot, take cover, click off this video, and save yourself. I refuse. I'm going down with the ship act, man! Gross. You can flirt with Sam Coe in Starfield. I mean, yeah, he's a cowboy. Why wouldn't you, wouldn't you flirt with him? This is fine if you're a woman, but I always play as myself in a game. I uh, okay, look, uh, let me... I think I see the problem. All right. You're sacredly homosexual. <laughs> you don't know... You don't... It, just like in the real world, if you don't want to flirt with the, a dude, you just don't do it. I'll be honest with you. At no point, even whilst playing as a female character... Was I forced to flirt with Sam Co? In fact, I think I did one mission with the dude where we like went to a cave and like freaking uh not like that, calm down. Uh but we went to a cave and extracted a long, hard metal rod. Uh and then we uh, uh got that out of there. And then uh that was pretty much it. I, I we dropped them back off at the lodge and I think I never spoke to him ever again. At what point did you start having romantic relationship with Sam Coe like that? And what did you do to get to that point? Uh, I, I didn't even know Sam Coe was a, was uh, again. Admittedly, I'm only I'm only sixty hours in. Uh, I didn't know Sam was a so was a romance. Have decided to role. He has a daughter already. Play as the maidenless virgin. The maidenless virgin. Fun. Yeah, he has a daughter. Isn't it? This also goes against. The I guess I never asked what happened to Mama. Straight guy, just like yours truly. So why hey. is the option there for males? You can tell he's so absolutely positively confident in that. There's a few things I really love about this. Number one, it comes from the Gaming Christian Twitter account, and he makes sure to mention twice that he's not gay. Tell me once. Okay, cool. No. Yeah, like, okay, I'm glad he also... I, 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 I had a long pause because I was wondering if YouTube would take me down. Uh, I'm like, dude... Like I just, I just never felt like that was a part. Like I would, I felt like at no point was that part of the game forced on me. Like what, what, I, like what were you doing different? Problem. Tell me twice. Now I'm skeptical. <laughs> My brother in Christ. My brother in literal Christ. Nobody else controls the buttons on your controller yeah. except you. <laughs> Can the hate boner for Starfield get any more erect at this point? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. PlayStation fanboy makes one thousand accounts to review bomb Starfield. On what? On Metacritic. Attention. We are now at DEFCON 1. Security lockdown active. Why? Who goes through that much effort? Fetch me their soul! <laughs> Samantha! Oh sweet Jesus. I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us! Okay. That that is that is that is that is the current mood that we're in. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe I didn't react to this before, and I'm glad I'm watching it again. Did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah. Well, guess what? Fucking pronouns. Fucking gender ambiguity. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. Starfield gives you the option to select three sets of pronouns in the character creation. Admittedly. I have never seen it in any other aspect of the game except for this specific menu right there. Right, this right here. You, this, it won't even show up in the dialogue. 
This is the only time you see it. It is literally just there for show. It's just there for brownie points. <laughs> Even the dialogue is so incredibly, like... It, it, it's so, uh, I guess I would say... It's the kind of dialogue that whether you're playing as a male, female, whether you're a good character, bad character, whether you are a villain or hero in your particular uh, playthrough, it, it's tailored, tailor-made so that it, it's, it's, like, just, like, not talking about you, or vague enough, I, I guess, yeah, that, that's the word. It's vague enough so that the, it could sort of react for multiple people. You get what I'm saying? They won't. They won't. Call, they won't speak to you about like uh, using he, she, they, that. They'll, they'll. They'll. They'll specifically use that stuff. Like the, the hero, the soldier, the the bounty hunt, the mercenary. You know, they'll use stuff like that. Creator. What? How can you do this? This alone has caused mass hysteria, and to me, it sounds like a. If anything, I do feel that it is very, very like, uh, 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 Winnie Hut Junior levels of of sanitize. Out of I need more bikinis and sexy outfits, Bethesda. Sounds like hoopla! a... Hoopla! Hoopla! Sounds like a lot of hoopla to make over a little role-playing, right? <laughs> Wrong! A lot of people have finally unlocked Ultra Instinct mode and gone full ham calling Starfield woke. They say it's it's pushing a hardcore liberal agenda and poisoning our, our precious media, our precious video games that we care so much about. Whether or not you think it is, you'd probably do a better job convincing people I'll be honest with you, that whole, uh, the, the vast majority of those particular, like, for example, me, my complaint about, like, the outfits being way too conservative at a certain time, let's say, uh, it, it, you know, especially in settings where you're at a vacation resort at the beach, and everyone is in full freaking attire, like, they're on, they're like, they're about to go on a business meeting at the beach, at a vacation resort, you know, that's, that's when the, uh, a little bit of the, uh, What's that one word for when things, like, are, like, immersion? It kind of breaks the immersion a little bit, you know, at times, when people are like that, like, at the beach, like, in full suits and, like, a lot of clothing. So it's like, but a lot of those complaints could really be fixed with just mods. So it's like, I just, at this point, the, the only reason why I haven't fixed it is because I've I just been too lazy to mod it myself. People love this if you weren't frothing at the mouth. Fucking current day Californian shit! If you want to play, pick your pronouns, then you should have an option to not enter pronouns. Yes, agreed 100%. Just leave it as a default they then. they force you to do it is the problem. The fact that they... They don't. You, you have to press a separate button. You can just press next. Force you to do it is the problem. The fact that they force you to do it is the problem. They're forcing you to do it. Objection! Show how it's optional. Okay, I will I will show how it's optional again if you want me to. Look, we, we can go through this again. Done. There's me, king of pronouns. Confirm. Confirm. No, Done. Didn't he literally didn't have to do anything. Default. <laughs> didn't have to pick my pronouns there. Take that! Didn't have to pick him, okay? So, you shut the fuck up about it being forced? Can you, uh, like, just admit that you're wrong about that? Yeah. They're forcing you to do it. No, they are not. Liar! And you would have a better point of argument. Like, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I agree that there, there's that that our our media has gotten a little too woke, uh, for sure. Uh, however, that this is not the battle. This is not the, the hill to die on. And I, I disagree. I fully disagree. But here, if the game allowed you to skip the pronoun nonsense. Objection! 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 So what? Do I have a better case now? Good. You wouldn't survive a COD lobby is out. You wouldn't survive Starfield character creation is in. Yeah, <laughs> good heavens. <laughs> what are your pronouns? Skip. Because the game understands that when you've picked the male character, you have male pronouns. I think the first thing we need to look. But what are you complaining about? What was it? <laughs> Starfield is set in the year 2310, so it's definitely not far fetched that people who go by they them pronouns exist. You may disagree with it, but at the end of the day, this is a very small detail that remains consistent with the setting of the game's world and doesn't break immersion. Fucking pronouns!
Seriously, the dude's gonna have a freaking heart attack which is playing this game. Own fucking gender ambiguity! This isn't like Elder Scrolls where the setting is medieval times. A they them setting for that game wouldn't make any sense considering the world is built around a time period where the request for a preferred pronoun wasn't a thing. Exactly. Starfield takes place in the future, so he has to he has to think people expressing themselves in a way that is not traditional gender normed. He has to think that that is a phase and won't exist in the year 2030 something that i can understand that to maybe but to that same logic how do we like i'm just saying the 80s are coming back baby <laughs> so how do you know that in the year 2330 something they're not gonna bring back the pronoun game baby? like we don't That's know <laughs> in the future gene therapy and genetic modification yeah i'm hoping like at some point we're probably just gonna get injected into, not even that they're gonna come up like hey what's up dude like hey what's up bro so i'm gonna look like this with abs and a six pack and they get it all right cool yeah just step up to the table right here it's gonna bake you for like 10 minutes when it's done bam you're gonna have a, a, a summer bod it's gonna be great will have gone so far love it i'm all in the modify me baby conservative conservative will be all i'm all about it genders if you think that i'm microchip my now, brain just wait until do it they actually figure out how DNA i want to be part I mean, this is literally just an option for role-playing purposes well if it's never brought up again why do you even have to pick the pronoun now if you tried to start who cares you don't have to pick it. Start the game. You don't even have to pick it though. And it stopped you and put this big ass wall of text that said, "Whoa, Buster, you haven't picked." Yeah, your own argument yet. works against you in this you? case you know, because of the fact that you don't have to pick it. Game being woke. You take everything we love, all our emotions, all our fun. All our emotions. I still definitely agree though. To that point, to his point, I still definitely agree that the actual dialogue <coughs> is still pretty like Winnie Hutt Jr. for the most part. Disease. And you just can't help! Shovel! You're dog shit! Fucking crap! Ideology! Into everything! How do you- Brother, I feel like you're missing the point of games. <laughs> like, I get it! You know, uh, it's your escapism, and, and you're trying to escape, uh, this, uh, political, like, I guess this political field, uh, this political battlefield. <coughs> But, uh, like, I don't, I just, sorry, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get a brand new cola. It's diet, zero calories, don't judge me. Uh, I feel like the moment you start getting angry at the game, uh, you stop playing the game and you move on to a different game and just enjoy it. Because if you're not, uh, smiling and having fun with a game, you're kind of missing the point of the game, uh. And any my minor like issues like this, <laughs> like I'm trying to say this in the most polite way possible, you can't let little things like this get to you. Because if this is the hill you're gonna die on, you will die on a molehill. <laughs> and let's just say no one will be impressed by it. Uh. I am not an ally and I am not an enemy to anyone's cause because frankly I don't care about your cause. There's there's no cause I can I can think of at the moment that I that would be worth uh uh putting this much putting myself through this much negativity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he is he is actively not happy with this. And I don't know why he is so stubborn to keep playing this game. You be a conservative when you are a living Wojak. You, when you are <laughs> like a subset of the. He is a Karen. Game. He is the absolute. He. This is the most Karen attitude I've ever seen. This freaking dude. Game. We're just having a grand old time. Meanwhile, people on the right are literally creating new soy. Like I, I can see this dude asking for someone's manager because the pronouns were in in, in his game. Jacks live. You get what I'm saying? That, like, how else could like how else can you possibly like reduce it down more to? Bro, really said you you put pronouns in my game, and even though it didn't really affect anything, I don't want it in my game, and so I want to talk to your manager. Getting angry at this over pronouns. I think this <laughs> agenda only goes so far as to creating more role playing and customization options because. 
And again, the the reverse. I I also I need to specify that the reverse logic of that argument. Like, well, if it doesn't matter, then why put it in the game to begin with? Here's the thing. This isn't your game. If you made your game and you made sure to make sure you didn't put pronouns in it, cool. I'm not gonna make a big deal about putting them in there. They they decided to put them in there. Why? I don't know, and I don't care. It doesn't make a difference to me. It doesn't affect my gameplay. Uh. In that case, the game exists with pronouns, as is. Let it be. You're, the, people are not making a big deal about removing the pronoun. Uh, rather, people are not making a big deal right now about putting pronouns into Starfield. You are making a big deal about them taking it out. And it's kind of like... You can't just keep trying to reverse everyone's logic on themselves, because it's not an argument. Saying, well, if it doesn't matter then why do it to begin with is, is like saying, well, why do anything then? What is the point to anything? They wanted to make a game and they, they wanted to put that in there. Let them make the game that they want to make and if you disagree with it and if that's your freaking drop-off point, then don't buy the game to begin with. Just let it go. That's the point where you stop playing it. No more concurrent game players, you know? What else can I tell you, my dude? Because games aren't just a form of escapism for people who look like you. They are a form of escapism for everyone. Think about how many sliders and other... That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here on some high horse like I'm some champion for the freaking the movement. I don't care if it makes you feel more special or not. It, I've never played a video game and cared about my character like representing me. I hate when a character represents me. I don't want to play a game where it's me being a loser in space. I want to play a game where I'm as ripped as Jason Momoa and I get to be the freaking number one hero that saves the day. And if the game allows it, and it's fun. I would also like to play it sometimes as the female character, because some of the outfits might be sexy, and I enjoy playing as a female character sometimes. Done. But, especially if there's a game like Skyrim, where you can get, you know, quote-unquote married to certain characters, if I'm role-playing, I, admittedly, I will tend to go back to who I am, like a total male character, I still end up going with a Nordic barbarian looking bad. It's an orc dude who's got like, you know, freaking just, just just this ripped orc dude who's just a blacksmith and he's been making he's been making orc like freaking armor his whole life out there, you. You know? So it's like I don't I don't like I just never I don't like that's never been a thing. I don't like I don't understand why we why we need so much freaking representation so badly uh in in our games. I get it. Like, I get where you're coming from. I would love to see, you know, I would, I definitely would love to see more uh, uh, diverse uh, heroes, more diverse characters. 100% get it, totally fine. Uh, but, uh, like, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't change the game for me. It doesn't, it doesn't make, if, in what way does it make the game more fun? And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The That's it. You see in character creation tools that you don't give a fuck about, but somebody else inevitably will. Now that I think about it. If it doesn't make the game more fun, it doesn't matter if it's in there, it doesn't matter if it's not in there. If it reduces the amount of fun, then maybe we can talk there, right? But you have to be objective about that. Why is the game no longer fun? If it's because you're having a Karen moment and you just don't want to, you just don't want the he, she thing in there, then what the freaking... What is your? You're never gonna survive, like the other guy said. You'll never. If you can't survive that, good luck in a COD lobby. Good luck in a Call of Duty lobby. The tinfoil hat. What if the pronoun selection? Like you just don't exist in real life if you can't handle this. Orchestrated by Todd Howard to get people to talk about the game. Hmm? Free publicity. I mean, worked out pretty well for uh, the Hogwarts Legacy developer. Maybe, but Todd Howard's an idiot. I don't think he'd be smart enough. I'm joking. I'm sorry, Todd Howard. But good, good gracious, dude, you are so disconnected. Uh. Love Bethesda games. Love all the Bethesda games that have come out, except for Fallout 76. But uh, uh, Todd Howard, I've never been a fan of him. Uh, he, he's, he seems incredibly disconnected and just doesn't know. He, he, he seems like the kind of person who just doesn't even know what's happening in his own studio. Developers, as the boycott around that game seemed to have the opposite effect. I think we're all being had. We're he's a silly man. I love him. He's great. He's awesome. Silly, silly, silly man. Says the silliest, dumbest things. All being pitted against each other as Todd Howard sits in a solid gold house counting his millions. Who's laughing now? Okay, but on the real, remember when Doom Eternal came out and, and Bethesda was criticized heavily for this line? Demon can be an offensive term. The first man is mortally challenged. 
this whole problem that was hilarious is so eerily similar to that because it's such a non-issue right one line of dialogue was all it took to trigger people to the surface of mars well our standards for what triggers people have gotten worse because all it takes now to trigger snowflakes is this i think donkey put it best when he said in the character creation screen it asks you what pronoun you want for your character it's like uh three seconds of a game which is like 700 hours long now if you want to have this uh, greater discussion of leftist political agendas infecting all sorts of media i mean go ahead and have that discussion it's definitely happening in some places but it's not here in starfield wait oh shit look at this woke coffee mug i just are you kidding is that actually in game hilarious found you guys this is so much are you kidding me i would use that mug in real life <laughs> toilets in the dead space remake i would there's woke toilets in the okay, dead space remake found. you guys this is so much worse than the woke to the only reason i'm mad is because now there's not two bathrooms for me to be able to get double the loot this is a travesty i want double the loot sometimes you would go to the men's restroom and there would be loot and then you would go to the female restroom and there would be more loot do we do we get less loot now? Toilets in the dead. Is it just one bathroom? I'd rather ship my pants than take a dump in one of those. If you're trying to say this is woke, couldn't this also just be evidence that there's? Listen, I'm not about to get political with you, but I am all for putting me in the same restroom as sexy women. I'm just saying, I, I that's just an amazing idea to me. Put me in the room with a bunch of women dropping their panties. I mean, it's just it's just logical. I want to be in that world. Let's make it happen now, please. Some corporation or company may I wish to be in the room with many women dropping their panties. I mean, it's with, just with like, of course. Feminist ideas I love it. In Starfield. I'm all in. So in that sense, isn't the world more realistic and similar to ours? So what's next? I <laughs> I'm already hanging out with a bunch of dudes dropping their under you. They're they're they're, they're freaking tiny whities. Might as well make it enjoyable for me too. Wait a second, what? Why is Asmin in the script of this hot takes video? He couldn't possibly have... Oh no. I have no problem. Daddy Osman called? No, I actually didn't know he had a take on on. I I, I didn't really watch any of his uh, Starfield stuff. Problem, by the way, with this kind of stuff. But I think that if you want to try to, you want to add messages in like this, especially whenever you have like pirates and stuff like that. Why is it not possible that you can't have like you know a space pirate with an Andrew Tate T-shirt? Uh <laughs> I love it. And yes, uh, I agree with that, but it I feel like there is. There's a bunch of pinup models and sexy bikini posters all over the pirates like like personal effects and stuff. Maybe you didn't pay enough attention, but I sure saw it. <laughs> uh, it, it says that, like, all women are bad or something. <laughs> Good heavens. <laughs> and so I think I mean Is that uh mm, the mug is not really saying all men are bad, though, is it? It's 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 more of an empowering statement. I would drink out of this mug as a dude. I would I, as a as a sorry. I use do it interchangeably, so I don't even know why I went with dude there. I I as as a, as a man, a monkey man, as a monkey man, I I would uh, I would I would absolutely drink out of this mug. I would make this my personal mug at work. I think this is fine, but it's just that uh you know the one sidedness of it makes it, it it takes it from being a um. I agree that there is a double standard in that aspect. It is definitely one, mo a lot, lot more one-sided. But, again, I feel like you're adding more context to this than what's necessarily there. Because this isn't, this isn't necessary. This is definitely a pro-women mug, but I feel like nothing about this says anti-men. An escapist experience. And it just turns it into bullshit. The one-sidedness of it. Asman, every single person in this game owns a firearm. They yeah. Have, they have armed security in every single city, even in the bars of vacation resorts on Paradiso. I became a revolver slinging deputy that used lethal force on the guilty and innocent alike. Yeah, you and and they don't they don't shy away from making the villain uh, females as well. And you you take them down brutally. How much more like? If any, if I had one major complaint, big 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 complaint, everyone's too goody two shoes. Even the bad guys are too nice. 
Honestly, even the pirates, the villains, the evildoers, like two different evil bad guys, both wanted to resolve the conflict without violence. Do I, like, at a certain point, I had to become the pirate just to teach them how to be an evil villain because what, what, what is the deal with you? You know what? That's, I'm convinced. I'm playing, I'm playing this game on stream at some point just to, te just to show y'all how, like, I, I will be the champion we all need. I will be the villain that this game needs. Texas, do you want it to be? They got cowboy hats too, man. Yeah, I, I thought I'd show Asmongold in a hot takes video. What about showing your friend in a hot takes video? I. I could do that. Didn't you I watch it? I totally reacted to this before. That That's fine. Uh, but I love it, though. It's actually really cool to uh, uh, be able to like revisit this after now going from, like, I didn't know whether to buy the game or not to now 60 hours in. <laughs> Still haven't finished the campaign. <laughs> I've, I've gotten married. Valid. Adopted a daughter. At the beginning of the game, uh, if you wanted to. I per I say I I found I hunted enough bounties that I actually like I I got super addicted to the bounty hunting system in the game, uh and I I hunted enough bounties that I purchased a three hundred thousand dollar freaking spaceship the conqueror from uh, Stroud Eklund. That thing was freaking nuts. Don't I love it? Still haven't been in the campaign yourself. though. Okay, so this is what normal people see when a game <laughs> gives them the option to select their welcome, gender. Welcome, welcome, Wendy. Welcome, welcome, my dude. Pronouns. And My monkey. this is what Captain Sexual Assault sees. That alien gutter. Good heavens. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna need a link to this. I got a couple of people I got. No, I'm joking. No, please don't send this in. Western gaming industry. Whoa! Ideological clown world bullshit. What should first and foremost be an escape from it? Back to Skyrim. What? You're going back to Skyrim? That woke leftist nonsense that forces you to pick a race at the start? God, what a <laughs> fucking libtard, man. This guy is so woke. You see how easy it is to turn your grift against you? You see how easy it is to imitate it? I don't like ideology in my games. Now, let me go back to the video game that has uh, themes Absolutely, of Absolutely, drop it. In it. I was actually... I'll be honest with you. I totally... I normally bring an end the stream at 10 or past, but drop it. Yours will be the last one we do for tonight, my dude. Structures tight, memories of faded might resurrect the old soul of America. I almost Yeah, I feel like a lot of like all those games mentioned, Skyrim, uh New Vegas, the vast majority of these games put a lot of characters. Let's say they put a lot of these a lot of characters in like these high position pa uh, like these high positions where you would expect them to be absolute units on the battlefield, but you didn't really get to see a whole lot of it. Which I'm so I'm surprised that a lot of these dudes didn't like complain uh uh during that time for those games. But in this one where you actually do actively get to see so many of them like in combat and actively, you know, fighting. You know, uh, not you know now they're having a lot of problems with it, which is weird. I guess Lydia was always like really, really tough. You know, Look, Shield made it. my game when Starfield asked me for pronouns. I still might. Now you'd be wise to stick a beer in your mouth and mind your own damn. Bro, who freaking pays full price for games? I just freaking pay for like a month of freaking Game Pass just to see if I wanted the game. And then you get a discount. Business because I don't put up with this sort of drama. They really do treat pronouns. Why are you paying like full price, bro? Mythical monster coming to swallow them whole. So at this point, I feel like you guys have officially lost the plot. I feel like people on the right don't realize that they have done to the word woke what the left did to the words sexist and racist. Rob them of almost all their original meaning. The but it's, it feels like nowadays that's for everything. Anything and everything is whatever you feel like they are in any given moment because your opinion has just changed in that particular moment. And you can just label anything and everything as whatever label you want to give it in that particular moment. And that's the only problem I have with it all is that it's, it's it, we're starting to lose a lot of meaning in words. And it's like, all right, fine. If we're going to go that route, I'm let's do it. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. I don't freaking, I'll, 
I'll do whatever I gotta do. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. But it does make it super inconvenient in uh, in a lot of professional and scientific settings, you know. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, it's not like I'm a freaking scientist. The dynamic what do I care? has completely shifted with who is with who is the SJW. You guys use the word woke. As long as I don't get in trouble. For... That's a funny pun. Like when people call someone Let me a do. Fascist, let me do me. My first instinct is just to assume the exact opposite. Because unfortunately, my parents did read me the tale of the boy who cried wolf, rendering me a skeptic for the rest. Oh, I know that one. There once was a boy, and he was crying. And then the wolf came over, and he gave him a big hug. And then he kissed him, and then he became best friends forever. And then he became his best friend, Boy Doggo. And that, that taught me that you should always go and pet doggos in the woods. Right? Something like that. Something, something like that. That's my life. We can't see past our own fucking reflection. That's... I feel like you're trying to focus too hard on seeing past your reflection when you should be looking at your reflection. <laughs> our narcissism here. It says the Western Game Company. Is this not pinnacle SJW behavior? Is this not peak? Is this, this is not a stereotype? Is this is Karen. If this person was a left-leaning individual and they were around back in 2017, this dude is asking for managers. This exact bit. Except instead of pronouns, it's something equivalently stupid, like him getting mad that there are more options for a white skin tone than a non-white skin tone in the character creator or something. If a person on the left had reacted like this, they would have been made fun of for the rest of their life. The people making comparisons to 2015 <laughs> yeah, for real. SJW shit are entirely correct, entirely accurate. This is this is essentially... Why at mass? I freaking love it, stop, dude! Go and check out his old boy review. It is one of the most amazing and fantastic and just well-crafted freaking reviews I have ever seen on the platform. If you don't want to see that and want to see something a little bit more mainstream, go and check out his Lion King review. It is so absolutely fantastic. And as an additional little bit you can watch afterwards, check out his Kimba review where he actually breaks down some of the controversy about the Lion King versus the Kimba crowd uh, and how they, they accused Disney of stealing the idea, even though it more than likely was never an idea that was stolen. Uh, uh, really cool uh, events you should watch. Complimentary piece with it. Red, check it out. Big Red, Anita Sarkeesian, all this shit, like... You are the same fucking thing. You are the Ooh, exact big red same soda. fucking thing. Love it. This is nuts. This is absolutely insane. The Starfield discourse has revealed the rift between those who live in a terminally online hellscape where a three second long character customization option in a new video game sends them spiraling into a fit of Vietnam flashback PTSD and those who are functioning adults. Hard disagree, Mr. Raygun. I remember throwing my Game Boy into the scorching flames of hell when Professor Woke asked me if I was a boy or girl. <laughs> and then those people will be like, it's so Yeah, weird. bro, like at this point, you'll never get past the, the freaking first page of a Pokemon game. They'll be like, wow, you're certainly freaking out over this guy. So the person that says it doesn't matter then created another post because I guess it actually does matter. As if that, it, like, it's a very, very big cope where their entire ideology is framed around contrarianism and no you and so they have to be like oh actually you're the one that's mad so the guy that said it doesn't matter then's created another post we have to we have to figure out who it matters to this needs to be the first thing that we do you like Five Nights at Freddy's? Freaking love it my dude that new movie just came out and it looked freaking awesome i freaking uh I got, I, I, I think I, I got Peacock for like a month uh, with one of those virtual cards so they don't keep charging me. Uh, and so uh, I still have to watch it, though. I saw little bits and pieces. It looks freaking sick, dude. It looks so good. I've always been a huge fan of the Finance of Freddy's lore. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I, I think it would be freaking sick to check that out. Uh, 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 hopefully soon. Maybe I'll do a review or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I got other videos in the work right now, so I can't because really, I guess it really, really get distracted. Matters. I think I think that my response to this is proportional to what I'm seeing. Fucking current day Californian shit! And this person's <laughs> response, new Soyjack's response to Bethesda including pronouns is ridiculously not proportional. I think so many people have been fighting the culture war online like every day for so long. They've forgotten what woke used to actually mean and why we started using that to describe media 
articles and whatever in the first place. You see, woke, at least in my own head dictionary, is a synonym for contrived, deliberately created rather than arising naturally or spontaneously. The only difference between woke and contrived is that woke was contrived, but it had some basis in a political ideology. We used to call media woke. I'll be completely honest with John. I don't care if I get canceled for this. Uh, just from everyone in my neighborhood that was using woke, for the vast majority of it, it was it was it was it was it was all of my 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 neighbors who were like, "Stay woke, brother." You know, stuff like that. Like, all my friends, all, all the, the people that I know of, that was the only time I ever really heard it. Uh, that was about it. And then suddenly, the internet started going ham with it, calling people woke, or, or the media woke. And I'm like, is woke bad now? I thought we, I thought we wanted to be woke. Was that not the woke? Was the woke not the thing? Are we supposed to be woke? We're we not supposed to be woke now. Because I'll go back to bed. I don't forget. Like, I'm, I'm a tired, lazy dude. Like, I don't know what to tell you when it had an observable negative impact on that piece of media. Like when, when people wrote about Witcher 3 being racist- Three hour long video people, of pure lore? That was, what, for that was contrived. That was a conclusion- the I'll admit, I've probably watched longer videos just, just on other lore stuff too. I love, I love watching Dune and, uh, Dune lore and what else other kind of lore? Warhammer 40k, recently, and recently. That, those are the two I've been on. Writer came up, but with I, 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 am, I, I have watched a lot of the Five Nights at Freddy lore stuff, so I, I, I got addicted to that. So I, I, I know that one very well. The game artificially, you know, same as when I made that video on Link is gay and Ocarina of Time is actually a gay coming of age story. I is it? Is it? What? For like six years on this matter, it's not about politics in the game. It's what politics do you put in the game? How are you trying to weaponize Starfield and the existence of pronouns within it to fit your agenda for your YouTube videos on your channel? I guess this is what they have to do. It's a, they, they sell outrage. They sell anger. They want you to be scared and they want you to be outraged because yeah. they profit off of it. So when people complain about the Star Wars sequels and how that trilogy is woke, it's not because the protagonist is a female. For some people, that's the case, but mostly it's because the movies have contrived writing that takes us out of. No, it's mainly because Holdo sucks. Like, hey, she's just a terrible character. Like, made no sense why she just did not want to involve, uh, 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 this dude over here, whatever his face is. The film. And that feels artificial. Ugh. Admiral Holdo withholding oh. her plans and information from Poe. Made no po sense. Is po, that's his name, yeah. Oh, 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 I don't know why Holdo freaking couldn't, just, 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 no reason. Contrive. Stick to your post and follow my orders. It's Like, they really made her seem evil for, like, no reason. Like, you really, you really made me... If it, like 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 for a game for a game for a movie that was trying to champion women, you really made me hate that lady. Like and 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 like, not that I'm a huge fan of Poe, but you really did not make me like Holdo. Actually, a literary plot device known as idiot plot. Admiral Holdo. Is I don't care what anyone says. I did like Rose. Is a character born out of contrived shitty lace. It might be. It might be. I was like pulled in. By the, but that's just a theory. This is, uh, 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 I've definitely watched those videos. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? But I, I freaking dude, I just sorry. I had to, I had to do the stupid Matt Pat thing, and I, I, it's not stupid. I'm saying I'm stupid for making the joke. Uh, and I just forgot my whole point of what I was just talking about a second ago. This dude's chin is chiseled. Lazy writing and this shitty lazy writing makes the last jedi a worse film it just so happens that oh yeah i uh, i was like not i was like uh, all right with rose but in the last one she was just not a character there so i don't even know what was the point of it people have made this connection her. between this sloppy <coughs> shitty writing Whoops. in the sequels and what's been going when on I at dropped. disney this is a much more compelling argument for woke ideology inserting into our media Starfield is not, and calling everything that you don't like woke is the same tactic as calling everyone you don't like racist or fascist or sexist. And here's the kicker, okay? If simply acknowledging any form of left-wing belief, left-wing ideology, liberal agenda, if the existence of the optional pronouns is all it takes to make Starfield woke, 
then what the fuck does that make Fallout New Vegas? In Rome, I found a template for a society equal to the challenges of the post-apocalyptic world. A society that could prevent mankind from fracturing and destroying itself in this new world by establishing a new Pax Romana. It means a nationalist, imperialist, totalitarian, homogenous culture that obliterates the identity of every group it conquers. Are we going to change the rhetoric and go back and say... <laughs> Yeah, you're very, you're very picky and choosy with which uh, ideologies you don't want in your, in your, uh, in your games. Eh? If Fallout New Vegas promotes a fascist agenda because you can install a fascist dictatorship as the new god. Don't forget, you fully could install Kaisar, as he put it, Kaisar into power, and like make that your ending. Government of the Mojave Wasteland is is New Vegas fascist? No. Long term stability at all costs. The individual has no value beyond his utility to the state, whether as an instrument of war or production. Politics. And yes, you get the option to, to join him after he gives you his case. And then you could just do that. You could just... In conclusion, I think Starfield is a pretty good video game as far as I've played 25 hours. And I don't know if I've ever seen such a massive and widespread hate boner for a new release like this. So yeah, those were some of the worst Starfield hot takes in the galaxy. I need some more O2 before I pass out. But what do you think? Admittedly, the you they need to double the amount of O2 you you start with. That Attention. game needs we way, way more, dude. Hey, joints. thank you so much, One Day, for the follow, my dude. Thank you, thank you, dude. You are number sixty. Thank you so much, my dude. I really appreciate it. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna Are you liking Star Let this Dislike play out yet? to feed the algorithm. And, opinions in the comments below. Like and then we're gonna check out your vid, my dude. It's yet, gonna be the last video awesome of the content. night. We recently just hit over 1.8 million subs, and I posted oh, he did my make a Modern Warfare video. Uh, so, three. I was debating buying this. I might get it. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. If I do, this I'll definitely stream the campaign. Signing out. Peace. All right. Great video, as always, my dude. I pretty much said all the piece I had. That one's a long one. Uh, uh, freaking love it, though. Great video, as always. Yeah, like, no matter what, uh, like, and that's the cool thing, is that, like, no matter what the, the, the debate is or what the situation is, there's always going to be whack jobs on, on both extremes, you know? So... What can you do? It's 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 funny to sort of look at them. No matter, it, 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 even if you are on one side or the other, it's sometimes just fun to sort of see see the whack jobs, you know. <laughs> hey, -o, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff.